President Emerson Umnangagwa has provoked outrage among the Ndebele people after making disparaging remarks about their historical king, Lobangula. While commissioning 17 schools at Makimamavi Primary School in Chivu. Thursday, Umnangagwa made a joke at the expense of King Lobangula, describing him as lacking in innovation. He recounted a story in which Lobangula allegedly killed a man after seeing his own reflection in a mirror, believing it to be witchcraft. Umnangagwa's comments came as he encouraged young people to embrace modern technology and avoid being like the old man. Lobangula. He stated, As I was touring the school, I saw the computer system. Pupils in one class were talking to others in another class, and we were seeing them through the computer system. I was telling VH Wenga, Vice President Constantino. Long back, Mambo Lobangula, King Lobangula, when he heard from Queen Victoria, she invited him for a friendship. But she said, for it to be stronger, send your three envays so that they will come and see where I rule because my missionaries have seen your jurisdiction already. So send yours so that they will see here England. Umningagwa went on to describe how King Lobengula sent three envoys to England, where they were given a mirror. Upon their return, they presented the mirror to Lobengula, who, seeing his reflection, allegedly exclaimed, Umthakathi lo. Bilala Umthakathi, this is a witch. Kill this witch, resulting in the man's death. The president concluded by stressing the importance of education and technology to avoid the ignorance exemplified by Lobengula's reaction. The audience reacted with a mix of confusion and displeasure, leading to audible murmurs and interjections. Umningagwa reportedly paused his speech as the discontent became evident. This incident follows the recent suspension of two ZBC presenters, Farai Magheda and Victoria Manasse, for making derogatory remarks about Lobengula on national television. King Lobengula was the last monarch of the Ndebele Kingdom, ruling after the death of his father, Mzilikatsi, in 1868 until the kingdom's decline in the mid-1890s.